lives here, yes, but he doesn't live here now because he lives in Spain. Mr. Philip Brent, that's right. The one that writes the plays. Only now he writes them in Spain. No, she's in Spain too. They're all in Spain. There's no one here. Am I in Spain? No, I'm not in Spain, dear. I look after the house for them. Only I go home at 1 o'clock on Wednesday, so that's where I am. No, because I've got a nice pair of sardines to put my feet up with, and they've got color TV here, and it's the royal wedding, you know. Well, where's the paper, then? And if it's to do with renting the house, then you'll have to ring the house agents, because they're the agents for the house. Squire, Squire, Hack, old man, Doc. Who's the other one? No, they're not in Spain, dear. They're next to the phone in the study. Squire, Squire, Hack, old man. Hold on, I'll go and look. <laughs> Always the same story, isn't it? As soon as you take the weight off your feet, damn it all comes on your head. And I take the sardines. No, I leave the sardines. No, I take the sardines. You leave the sardines and you put the receiver back. Oh yes, I put the receiver back. You leave the sardines. And I leave the sardines? You leave the sardines. I put the receiver back and I leave the sardines. Right. We've changed that, have we? No, love. That's what I've always been doing? No, I shouldn't say that, darling, my precious. How about the words? Am I getting some of them right? Some of them have a very familiar ring. Only it's like a fruit machine in there. I know that, Bobby. I open my mouth and I never know if it's going to come out three oranges or two lemons and a banana. Anyway, it's not midnight yet. We don't open until tomorrow. So there you are, holding the receiver. So there I am, holding the receiver. Squire, Squire, Hackerman, hold on. Squire, Squire, Hackerman, hold on, don't go in, bring it down. Always the same story, isn't it? Put your feet up for two minutes and immediately they come running after you. Oh. My housekeeper, yes. But this is her afternoon off. Hold it. So we've got the place entirely to ourselves. Hold it, Brooke Duddy. Come back? Yes, and go again with the newspaper. The newspaper? Oh, the newspaper. You leave the sardines, you put the receiver back, and you go out with the newspaper. Here you are, Donnie. Sorry. Don't worry, Donnie. It's only the technical. It's the dress, Gary, honey. It's the dress rehearsal. So when was the technical? So when's the dress? We open tomorrow. Well, uh, we're all thinking of it as the technical, though, aren't we, Donnie? It's all those words. Oh, don't worry about the words, Donnie, my pet. Coming up like oranges and lemons. <laughs> Listen, Donnie, your words are fine. Your words are better than the, uh, do you know what I mean? Isn't that right? Sorry? <laughs> I mean, okay, so he's the, but Dottie, you've been playing this kind of part for, well, I mean, Dottie, you know what I mean. All right, so Gary is No, but here we are. We're all thinking, my God, we open tomorrow. We've only had a fortnight to rehearse. We don't know where we are, but my God, here we are. That's right. Isn't that right, Lloyd? Beautifully put, Gary. Uh, no, but we've got to play Peoria all the rest of this week. Then Des Moines, then God knows where, then God knows where else, and so on for God knows how long. And we're all of us feeling pretty much, I mean, uh, you know, uh, I mean, uh, aren't you? Sorry? Right. Anyway, you're all. Okay. Uh, sorry, Lloyd, but sometimes you just have to come right out with it, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Lloyd. All right. So you're all. Uh, Lloyd, let me just say one thing since we've stopped. I've worked with a lot of directors, Lloyd. Some of them have been geniuses. Some of them have been bastards. But I've never met one who is so totally and absolutely I don't know. Thank you, Gary. I'm very touched. Can we get up the bloody stage and go? Yes? Are you in? In? Are you there? What? You're out. Go to the house So there I am holding the receiver. I put the receiver back and I leave the sardines. Always the same story, isn't it? And you take the newspaper. I leave the sardines, I take the newspaper. Always the same story, isn't it? It's a weight off your mind, it's a load off your stomach. And off at last I go. My housekeeper, yes, but this is her afternoon off. So we've got the place entirely to ourselves. I'll just check. Hello, anyone at home? No, there's no one here. So what do you think? Great, and all this is yours? <laughs> no, just a little shack in the woods, really. Converted posset mill, 16th century. It must have cost a lot. One has to have somewhere to entertain one's business associates. Someone coming at 4 o'clock, in fact. Out of oil, well, uh, you know. Right, and I have to get those files to our office in Hackensack. Uh, uh, yes, we'll just manage to fit it in. I mean, we'll just manage to do it. I mean... Right then. We won't bother to chill the champagne. 
All these doors! Oh, only a handful, really. Study, kitchens, and a self-contained service flat for that housekeeper. Terrific! And which one's the... What? You know. Oh, um, uh, 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 through here. Fantastic! Now I've lost sardines. Uh, I'm sorry, I thought there was no one here. I'm not here, I'm off. Only it's the world you know, where they wear those hats and are all covered in fruit and uh, Who are you? Well, uh, I'm from the agents. From the agents? Squire, Squire, Hackam, and Dudley. Oh, which one are you then? Squire, Squire, Hackam, or Dudley? Well, uh, I'm Trebleman. Walking in here as if you own the place, I thought you were a burglar. No, no, I, I just dropped by to uh, go into a few things. Well, to check some of the measurements, do one or two odd jobs. Oh, oh and, and a client, I'm showing a prospective tenant over the house. What's wrong with this door? Uh, she's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. <laughs> that's not the bedroom. Uh, the bedroom? Uh, no, that's the downstairs bathroom. And this is the housekeeper, Mrs. Crockett. Flack it, dear. Flack it. Oh, hi! She's not really here. Only it's the color. Uh, it's the royal, you know. And it's black and white at home. Well, uh, don't worry about us. I'll just have the sound on low. We'll just inspect the house. Only now I've lost the newspaper. I'm Sardine. sorry about this. Sardines! That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Sardines! I forgot the sardines. Lloyd, these damn sardines. We've got to do something about them. We can't go on like this. <laughs> not go on like what, Gary? I mean, okay, it's all right for you, sitting out there, but we've got to work with these sardines. We all feel the same, don't we? Sorry? <laughs> what sardines? I mean, here we are, working our backsides off, and there are four plates of sardines coming on in Act One alone. Do you know what I mean? Would you like to set of sardines? That's what you're saying. Would you like Poppy to mash up some banana? We don't want four plates of mashed banana. Poppy, we're changing the sardines. We're not getting it you, Poppy. We think the sardines are lovely. I'd be perfectly happy with the sardines if you were happy with them, Doc. I'm happy with them if you're happy with them. So, Gary, honey, what exactly are you saying? <laughs> what we're saying, Lloyd, is simply this. Here we are, busting our guts up here, and... And... Right, right, I see. You got that, Poppy? Oh, uh, well... Right, and on we go. And, Poppy... Yes? Don't let this happen again. Oh, no. Sorry, Lloyd, but I thought we ought to get that straight. Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm absolutely happy myself. <laughs> well, I'll just take the sardines off with me now. I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? Only she has been in the family for generations. Great. Come on, then. I have to be in Hackensack by four. Uh, yes, uh, perhaps we should just have a glass of champagne. We'll take it up with us. Yes, well... And don't let my files out of sight. No, only... What? Well... Her? She has been in the family for generations. Sardines, sardines. It's not for me to say, of course, dear. Only I will just say this. Don't think twice about it. Take a plunge. You'll really enjoy it, dear. Oh, great. Won't she? Uh, yes, well, yes. And we'll enjoy having you, won't we? Oh, well. Terrific. Sardines, sardines. Can't put your feet up in an empty stomach, can you? <laughs> you see, she thinks it's great. She's even making us sardines. Well. I think she's terrific. Well, terrific. So, which way? Oh, uh, all right, before she comes back with the sardines. Up here? Yes, yes. In here? Yes, yes, yes. It's another bathroom. No, no, no. Always trying to get me into bathroom. I mean in here. Oh, black sheet? No, 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 it's the linen closet. No, uh, uh, this one, this one, this one. Oh, you're in a real state. Uh, come on, then. You can't even get the door open. Yes, we have been Mrs. Clark and Dr. Paul. Hold it. So we've got the place entirely to ourselves. And God said, hold it. And they held it. And <laughs> God saw that it was terrible. Sorry, guys, this door won't open. I'm sorry, this door won't close. And God said, Poppy. Sorry, everyone, am I doing something wrong? You know how stupid I am about doors. But you're doing it perfectly. As long as it's not me that's broken. And there was Poppy. And God said, be fruitful and multiply, and go fetch Tim to fix the doors. Oh, I love technicals. Oh, she loves technicals, isn't she just? I mean, she loves technicals. Uh, Dottie, where's Dottie? Everyone's always so nice to everyone. Isn't she just? I mean, she really is. Uh, Belinda's being all, uh, you know. But Freddie, don't you 
like nice all night technical? The only thing I like about technical is the chance to sit in the furniture. It's lovely to see you cheering up and making jokes. Oh, was that a joke? It's such a lovely company. It's such a happy company to work with. Wait till we've got to Detroit in 12 weeks' time. Are you on my mind? I'm beginning to know what Dog felt like as he sat out there in the darkness creating the world. What did he feel like? Very pleased he'd taken his Valium. He had six days, of course. We've only got six hours. And God said, where the hell is Tim? And there the hell was Tim. And God said, let there be doors that open when they open and close when they close. Do something? Doors. I was getting the bananas for the sardines. Doors. Doors. I bet God had a stage manager who wanted to student English. Uh, Tim, this door won't close. And the bedroom won't, uh, you know. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Tim, only another 24 hours and it'll be the end of the day. Oh, well, look, he's come down and the monster. steps. Listen, since we've stopped anyway, okay, it took two days to put the setup, so we shan't have time for a dress rehearsal. Don't worry, it's the first night of the dress rehearsal. We could just get through it once tonight for doors and sardines. <coughs> That's what it's all about. Doors and sardines. Getting on, getting off, getting the sardines on, getting the sardines off. That's fast. That's theater. That's life. God, Lord, you're so deep. So just keep going. Bang, bang, bang. Bang your horn, bang your horn, bang your horn. And everything will be perfectly. Where's Selden? Oh, my God. Selden! Selden! I thought he was in front with you. Poppy, I thought he was in front with you. Is Mr. Malbrain in his dressing room? Oh, I don't think he would. Not a technical, would he? No. Selden, 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 Just get the understudy dressed. Tim, yes. hurry up with those doors. You're going on for cells, Tim. He shouldn't have been out of sight. I said he was never be out of sight. He's been as good as going all the way through rehearsals. Uh, yes, because in the rehearsal room it was all, uh, you know, I, I mean, there we were. Uh, do you know what I mean? You mean you could see everyone? Uh, yes, and here it's all, uh, you know. Split into two. There's a the front and a back, and instantly we've lost him. He's not in his dressing room. Do you look to the back? Yes. And the scenery doc and the prop room in the paint store. Yes. Oh, you've worked with them before, of course. Uh, ring the police. Uh, Tim, finish with the doors? Right, get the gear on. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dottie Love. No, it's my fault, Lloyd. I cast it. Let's give him one last chance, I said. One last chance. I mean, what can you do? We were a weekly rep together in Peebles. No, oh, it's my fault, Dottie. I never should have let you. This tour isn't just, do you know what I mean? This is her life savings. We know that, Gary, love. I'm trying to make my fortune. Of course you're not, Daddy. We know. I just want a little something to buy. We know, we know. Just a little something that she could buy a house with, so she could... I mean, uh, that's not so much to ask. <coughs> no, come on. You must have played yourself. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, 
coffee. <laughs> Once it got into your nostrils, you'll never forget it. Sixty years and the smell of beer still haunts me. Oh, bless him. Tell me something, Poppy. How did you ever get a job that requires such tact and understanding? <laughs> You're not somebody's girlfriend, are you? I think I'll go back to sleep. I'm not on for 20 pages. Very good. <laughs> and on we go. Dottie wildly roasting sardines in the kitchen. Freddie and Melinda waiting impatiently outside the front door. Gary and Brooks slipping tremendously into the bedroom. Time sliding irrevocably into the bedroom. Aren't they sweet? Gary and Dottie. Oh, Shh. You mean that? It's supposed to be a secret. Sold enough to be a Shh. Gary and Dottie. Travel man and Mrs. Clackett? Didn't you know? I'm just God, Linda. I'm only the one with the English degree. I don't know anything. What's happening? You tell me, Gary, honey. I mean, what are we waiting for? I don't know what you're waiting for. Her 16th birthday? What? Or maybe just a few. Brooke, you can't even get the door open. You can't even get the door open. Go close. You can't even get the door open. Yes, but then it's Mrs. Clackett's up and wrong. So we've got the place entirely to ourselves. Look at it. Do you like it? I can't believe it. The perfect place for an assignation. Home. Oh. <coughs> A little secret hideaway. The last place on earth anyone will look for us. Oh, it's rather funny, creeping in like this. It's damn serious. If the IRS finds out we're in the country, even for one night, bang goes our claim to be resident abroad. Bang goes most of this year's income. I feel like an illegal immigrant. I'll tell you what I feel like. Champagne? I wonder if Mrs. Clark is there the beds. Darling! Well, why not? No children, no friends dropping in. We're absolutely on our own. True. There is something to be said about being in tax anxiety. Please, I was... Shh! What? See, I rest my nurse. What I did with that first lot of sardines, I shall never know. Mrs. Mrs. Clark! Oh, you gave me a turn. My heart took right in my shoes. So did mine. We thought you'd fly. I thought you were insane. We are, we are. You haven't seen us. We're not here. Oh, like that, is it? The income tax are after you. And they would be if they knew we were here. All right, then I haven't seen you. If anybody asks, I don't know nothing. Off to bed, are you? Oh. Well, that's right. Nowhere like bed when they all get on top of you. Uh, you want to think, huh? <laughs> oh, yes, thanks. Oh, that bed hasn't been aired. I'll get the hot water bottle. I put all your letters in the study. Oh, uh, all the mail, don't you? Not the ones from the income tax. I don't want to spoil your holidays. Oh, my God, where are they? I put them all in the little pigeon house. In the pigeon house? In the pigeon house, in your desk. Yes, but I can hear voices. Voices? What sort of voices? Well, then, Freddie, what's the trouble? Sorry, Gary. Sorry, Brooke. It's just my usual dimness. You know, it's stupid about moves. But I don't understand why I take the things off into the study. Wouldn't it be more natural if I left them on? No. I just thought it'd be somehow more logical. No. Lloyd, I know it's a bit late in the day to go into all no, this. No, we've got several more minutes left before we open. Thanks, Lloyd. As long as I'm not too pushed. But I don't understand why I take... An overnight bag and a box of groceries into the study to look at my mail. Because they have to be out of the way for my next seat. I see that. And Selton needs them in the study for his next seat. I see that. Selton. Oh, where is he? See that? Selton! Selton! Am I on? But I thought I heard my voice. <laughs> Selton, I can sleep another ten days. <laughs> okay. All right, I see all that. I just don't know why I take it. Freddie, why does anyone do anything? Why does that other idiot walk out the front door holding two plates of sardines? I mean, I'm not getting at you, love. Uh, of course not, boy. I mean, why do I? I mean, when you come to think about it, why do I? Who knows? Who knows? You see, Freddie? The wellsprings of human action are deep and cloudy. Maybe something happened to you as a small child that made you afraid to let go of groceries. Or it could be genetic. Yes, or it could be, uh, you know. It could well be. <laughs>
Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Bless you. And on we go from Freddie's exit. Yes, but I can hear voices. Uh, yes, but I can hear voices. Voices? What sort of voices? Uh, people's voices. But there's no one here. Darling, I saw the door handle move. It could be someone from the office checking up. I still don't see why you have to put your tie on to look. Well, Mrs. Cluckett. Mrs. Cluckett? She has been in the family for generations. Oh, look, she's opened our sardines. Oh, I'll come back. What? I'll fetch them. You can't go downstairs like that. Why not? Mrs. Crackett. Mrs. Crackett? She's irreplaceable. <laughs> sardines here, sardines there. It's like a Sunday school outing. Oh, you're still poking around, are you? Uh, yes, still poking. Uh, well, still around. In the linen closet, for you? No, no. Uh, well, just checking the sheets and pillowcases, going through the inventory. Uh, Mrs. Blackett. Blackett, dear. Blackett. Mrs. Blackett. Is there anyone else in the house, Mrs. Blackett? I haven't seen no one. I thought I heard voices. Voices? There's no voices here. I must have imagined it. Oh, my God. I beg your pardon? Oh, my God. Why, what is it? Oh, my God, the study door is open. Oh, no. There's another car outside. That's not Mr. Hackens, is it? Or Mr. Dudley's. Nothing but flapping guys in this house. Final notice. Steps will be taken. Proceeding in court. Oh, yes, and that reminds me of Gemma from that house. Don't tell me. I'm not here. He says he's got a lady quite aroused. Leave everything to Squire, Squire, Hackens, and Dudley. All right, then I'll let them go over, Josh. Let them do anything, as long as you don't tell anyone we're here. Well, I'll just sit down and turn on the sardines. I've forgotten the sardines. I don't know. It wasn't fixed in my head. I forget what day it was. I didn't get this. I'm not here. I'm in Spain. But if I didn't get it, I didn't open it. Darling, I never had a dress like this, did I? Didn't you? I should never buy anything as tardy as this. Oh, it's not something you gave me, is it? I should have never touched it. No, it's lovely. Stick it down. Put it back. Never saw it. I'll put it in the attic with all the other things you gave me. That are just too precious to wear. All right, now the study door is open again. What's going on? Knocking. Upstairs. Oh my god, there's something in the linen closet. <coughs> Is it they never get on stage? 
stuck. Oh, Mrs. Platt just made us some sardines. <clears throat>
hardly worth lifting. Choke, choke if you insist. Where is his desk? No, they ask the same thing. It's hard to adjust to retirement. <laughs> Uh, and the prospective tenant naturally wishes to know if there is any previous history of paranormal phenomena. Oh, yes, dear. It's all nice and paranormal. I mean, has anything ever dematerialized before? Has anything ever flown about? Flown about? No, things move themselves on their own two feet, just like they do in any house. I'll tell the prospective tenant. She's inspecting the study. There's a man in there. No, no, there's no one in the house. Look, look, he's searching for something. I can't see no one. You can't see him, but this is extraordinary. And where is my prospective tenant? I left her in there. My prospective tenant has disappeared. Oh, my God. Now what? There. Where? The sardines. Oh, the sardines. You can see the sardines, can't you? I can see the sardines. I can see the way they're going, too. I'm not letting these sardines out of my hand. But where is my prospective tenant? I can see I'm going to be opening sardines all night, in and out of here like a cuckoo on a clock. Mickey, Mickey. He said, Charles, he said. You are 70 years old. It's time to hang up the stone off shotgun. It's time to let a younger man take over the ammonia bottle. Where's she gone? She hasn't gone back to the bedroom. I said I may be 70, but I still got all my wits about me. He didn't have an answer to that. Vicky, Vicky. Or if he did, I didn't hear it. Darling, this stuff doesn't eat through anything. It doesn't eat through glue. It just eats through trousers. Darling, if it eats through trousers, you don't think it goes on and eats through... Listen, darling, I think I better, I better get these trousers off. Darling, quick, it's an emergency. Have we got any stuff, the stuff, the stuff that stops the stuff? I mean, it needs to absolutely everything. Darling, I think you can feel it. I think you're seeing through absolutely everything. <laughs> There's something evil in this house. The IRS is back. No, no, I'm not here. Oh my God, I'm abroad. He's walking abroad. I must go. Stay. I'm not staying. It's me. Oh, in the presence of my lawyer. Only in the. Hold on, hold on. You're just an intruder, an ordinary intruder. Oh, well, nice to meet you. I mean, have a sardine. Oh, well, you've got some sardines. If there's, a, if there's nothing I can offer you. No, you're not. You're some kind of sex criminal. You've done something to me. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll be running along. Uh, hello, please? <laughs> someone has broken into my house. Or rather, someone has broken into someone's house. Yes, a sex criminal. And a young woman is missing. It's in the garden now, and it's a man. Oh, the young woman has returned. Uh, are you all right? No, he almost saw me. Uh, he almost saw her. No, but he's a burglar as well. He's taken our things. The things are here. Oh, uh, the things have come back, so we're just missing a plate of sardines. Here are the sardines. And we found the sardines. This is the police? You want the police here in my underwear? Uh, so what am I saying? I'm saying, let's say no more about it. <laughs> Something terrible had happened to you. It has. I know him. You know him? Yes, he's dealt with by our office. He's just an ordinary sex criminal. Yes, but he mustn't see me like this. You have to keep up certain standards to work for the IRS. Well, put something on there. I haven't got anything. Oh, there must be something in the bathroom. Um, uh, bring the sardines. I said, why am I getting torn up in the middle of the job to have a Jack Daniels? Except when some stupid jerk starts talking. Oh my God, where is it? Uh, just stay in there and don't come out until you've got dressed. And I can't go around in front of our taxpayers wearing this. I know I shouldn't have brought this subject up. Darling, help me, where are you? <laughs> just put it on. Just start at any rate. I'll find the bottom. I'll find the top. I'll find something. Oh, 
Oh, uh, so you've come to see over the house now, have you, Sheep? Well, uh, since you're upstairs already. Can we just close down, break this over their heads? Well, let's start downstairs. Who are you? Who are these people? I'm sorry about this. Uh, I don't know who she is. No connection with the house, I assure you. Whereas this good lady with the sardines, on the other hand. No other hand, thank you. Not my sardines. <coughs> this time, I'm eating them. Is uh, fully occupied with her sardines, so perhaps the toilet facilities would be of more interest. This is kind of who are these people? Oh, they're just Arab sheets. We get them all the time. Oh, I'm sorry about this. Uh, but in here. Arab uh, In here we have. Ball cocks, Governor! Your ball cocks are gone! <laughs> Sunday? Uh, shh, here we come. Uh, 
Last night? Yes, she took me for, took me for a drink after the show and some club she knows about. She was with you? You were with her? She's being very sympathetic about all my troubles. You're not going to let her see her teeth into you. You're not going to let her. No, no, she could have been nicer. As a matter of fact, she came back to my room afterwards for a cup of tea and told me about all her troubles. Sat there until 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't know what the landlady thought. And another thing, nothing else. Where sells in? Turns out that Freddy here's the cause of all the sells in. She's not in the room. God. Oh my God, I'm going to house call. You do the calls, I'll look for sells in. What shall I do? Absolutely nothing at all. Right. He's done quite enough already. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Take your seat. The curtain will rise in three minutes. He wants to kill someone. Selsden wants to kill Gary, someone. Gary, Gary, Selsden. We've lost him. Oh my God. Flowers? Oh, well, well they're just. Oh, you know. Tim, that's really sweet of you. Isn't that sweet? Very charming. I'll go look in the pub. Hold me. Oh, I'll take those. Oh, the front of house calls. Hold me. I think Poppy's done them. She gave them two minutes, did she? I'll give them one minute. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats. The curtain will rise in one minute. Oh dear, I think she said three minutes. She said three minutes, but I said three minutes. I think so. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please take your seats. The curtain will rise in two minutes. <laughs> Any luck? No, but I found this. Oh. It was quite cleverly hidden behind the fire extinguishers. Not a good sign. I'll take it. Yes, and put it somewhere out of sight. Not the pub. Uh, check the funeral. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll check it again. <laughs> now what? Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seat. The curtain will rise in two minutes. Tim's already done two minutes. He's got to. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seat. The curtain will rise in one minute. What the hell is going on? Great Scott! I didn't know you were here. I'm not here. I'm in New York, but I can't sit out there and listen to one minute, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. <laughs> well, I'm having great dramas downstairs. We're having great dramas out there. This is the matinee, honey. There are senior citizens out there. The curtain will rise in three minutes. We all go running for the loo. The curtain will rise in one minute. We all come running back again. We don't know which way we're going. <laughs> Take it. 
Jerry, in one word, I miss it's always the same thing, she cries. Jerry! You try to use some poor devil like us, or, or she might feel like a... Oh, here he is. Are you all right, Jerry? What does he say? Not saying anything. Very sensible. Only stir up again. That's what he kept saying downstairs. I know when you get your claws into someone, and I've seen the way you've got them into poor old men. Uh, Johnny! Oh, she's emerged, has she? Come on, old girl, you're on. Are you all right, Johnny? Is she all right? She's fine. All right, everyone? Or it may be Eddie. Nettie or Eddie. Hush. Turn up. Look, Johnny, look, Gary, I'm not going to make a great speech. But we have all got to go out there and put on a performance, and, well... We can't do it in silence. We must speak to each other. What's the house like? That's the spirit! Well done, Johnny. It's quite good. Well, for a matinee. There's quite a crowd in the back of the house. Come on, girl, get the curtains up. Some of the old seniors out there haven't got long to wait. Right, Hold on, little possum. Let me just say one word. Let me just say one word. Sardines! 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 We've been sitting there for an hour. The audience has gone quiet. They think someone's died. Sorry, but I was just saying a few words to everyone. Honey, have you ever thought of having a brain transplant? Sorry, sorry, wrong moment, I see that. Anyone else have any thoughts they feel they must communicate? Well, not now, but What? I mean, like, uh... <laughs> you. You bought those flowers for Poppy. No, well, yes. And you didn't buy any flowers for me? No. Well, no. Jim, have you ever heard of such a thing as jealous rage? Yes. Well, yes. Then take five bucks of your own money, Tim, and go buy me some flowers. Gave Poppy the flowers. You two could have Freddy's old brain. Get out half each. Oh, dear. Don't cry, Poppy. Just get the old bus on the road. <laughs>
looking in here? Oh, black sheep. <laughs>
standing there with a plate of sardines, and the next thing you know, she's kicked me in the kneecap, and there are just many, many sardines all over the floor. I mean, here we are. We haven't been going three months, and already she's, so, so she's kicking me in the kneecap with sardines. And here I am. I don't know where I am. I'm picking sardines off the floor with one knee, and don't tell me they've gone again. If you want anything else, you'll have to ring the house agents, because they've got their hands free to see what they're doing. No, they're not being here. They're next to the phone in the study. Uh, Squire, Squire, Heckam, and, uh, hold on, I'm going to do something wrong here. I can't think with one hand. Always the same story, isn't it? One moment you've got too much on your plate, and the next thing you know, you put your foot in it. Oh, speak of the devil. Now they're all wanting to go put their foot in it, won't they? Well, uh, I'll just put that there. That'll keep them out of harm's way. <laughs> what I'm holding now, I don't know. It's off at last I go. My housekeeper, yes, but this is her afternoon off, so we've got the place entirely to ourselves. Um, I'll just check. Uh, hello, uh, anyone in? Oh. Uh, no, there's uh, no one here, so uh, what do you think? Great, and all this is yours? Oh, just a little sack of money. Converted to Hussock Mill, uh, 16th century. It must have cost a lot. Well, uh, one has to have somewhere to entertain one's business associates. Uh, someone on the phone now, by the look of it. It's probably, you know, this hour, <coughs> saying that he's going to be coming by at four. So I'll just have a word with him and... Right, and I have to be in Hackensack by the horse. Uh, yes, we'll uh, just manage to fit it up. I mean, just manage to pick it in. I mean... Right, then. I'll be not bothered to pull the champagne. All these doors! Oh, uh, only a handful, really. Study kitchens and a small contained surface lab for the... Receiver. Terrific! And which one's the... What? You know. Oh, um, uh, um, oh, uh, through here. Fantastic! <laughs> Why does come with my sardines? Oh, I'm sorry, I thought there was no one here. I'm not here. I don't know where I am. Well, I'm from the agents. <coughs> lost the phone now. <laughs> Squire, Squire, Hackham, and Dudley. Never lost a phone before. <laughs> I'm Trampleman. Well, I'll put it here if anyone wants it. No, right, thanks. Uh, no, I just dropped by to uh, go into a few things. Well, to check some of the measurements. Do one or two odd jobs. And now the plane's gone. Oh, and a client. I'm showing your prospective client over the house. What's wrong with this door? Uh, she's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely aroused. That's not the bedroom. Uh, the bedroom? Uh, no, that's the downstairs bath bathroom. And uh, this is the housekeeper, Mrs. Crockett. Sardines, dear. Sardines. Oh, hi! Uh, she's not really here. Only you're standing on them. Uh, it's the royal, you know. Oh, you shouldn't have stood on them. Oh, uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Only I need those sardines, you see. We'll just inspect the house. I'll have to get the floor washed now. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? <laughs> That's right, television. She didn't explain about wanting to watch this royal, you know, because there's obviously been this thing with the... I mean, I'm just, in case anyone's looking at all this and thinking, my God. Right, and I have to be at Hackensack by four. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Brooke, I thought we ought to get that straight. We'll take it up with us. Wait, where are we? And don't let my files out of sight. Hold on, I think we've got out of... What? What? Her? Her? <laughs> oh, okay, right, her. Because she has been in the family for generations. I'll just give a floor wash with this look and they'll be out of your way. <laughs> what I've got a hold of now. Oh, great. It's like a battlefield out there. Terrific. <laughs> well, I'll put it here. If he wants it, he won't know where to find it. Sardines, sardines. You'll have to do the sardines then, because I've got to go in the kitchen and do some more sardines. You see, she thinks it's great. She's even making us sardines. Okay, so what do you think? I think she's terrific. You know, I mean, do you want to do the... So which way? I don't know, kind of parcel them up in Up the... here? I mean, I've got to do the... In here? Okay, you take the... I'll do the... It's another bathroom. Box, bag. Always trying to get me into bathroom. Bag, box. Oh, the linen closet. Box, box, bag, bag. Oh, you're in a real estate. <laughs> So we've got the place in town to ourselves. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
investigation. Home. Home. But how odd to find a telephone in the garden. I'll put it there. I thought I'd better bring it in. Very sensible. Someone's bound to want it. Dear. Uh, why don't you put it on the table? The wire seems to be caught. Oh, look, it's caught by the downstairs bathroom. So it is. Didn't you? I should never buy anything as brassy as this. Oh, we've got something 
take it down, put it back, never saw it. I'll put it in the attic if anyone else wants to have a shot. <laughs> all right, all right. Now the bathroom door is open again. What's going on? Uh, knocking. Upstairs. Oh my God, there's something in the. Oh my God, listen, I can't because the handle seems to have, you know, I mean, you'll just have to. Don't keep banging like that, darling. Uh, I mean, there's, uh, there's nowhere to. You'll just have to uh, climb around into the. and then uh, squeeze through the. and then you'll just have to shit down the. There must be some way. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Final notice. Steps will be taken. Proceedings in court. It's you. Of course it's me. You put me in here, in the dark, with all the black sheets and things. I put you in there, but you managed to squeeze through the, uh, you know. Why did I lock the door? Why did you lock the door? <laughs> Proceedings in court. Now what? A hot water box. I didn't put it there. Huh? Sometimes makes me want to 
I sit down and read? I know, it's getting like a funeral in here. Well, I think I used to do banks. Keep what, going. What I remember I used to do, bullying balls. Keep going, keep going. Oh, what, what, what did he say? I, I saw him going down to the bathroom. What, what did he say? I've heard of people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous. Any hope and move.